this tiny camera packs a lot of features in a small package. I have been talking about this camera for a while and it's time for me to actually make a review on it. This camera dimension is actually very small. It's in an 8x7x7, by seven by seven, which is, uh, I think it's metric measurement. But in inches, it's more like 2, 3, and then 3.5, which is an awesome, awesome size. And if you guys haven't really noticed how this camera actually looks, it looked like the ghost from Destiny. It actually resembled the shape of it. Awesome design from Blackmagic. And you can actually fit it anywhere since it's small. Now this black this now this black magic camera is, is preferred to be used inside the studio settings, but I've seen some good results using outside of the studio. As long as you have a monitor and a handle to go along with it to make it actually easier to handle when you're actually outside. As a dimension of it, it makes it kind of very difficult to actually hold and be able to record. As you guys can see right now, I'm actually holding it from the side. There's barely any grip to grab it on. So you have to literally grab it like that. So it's kind of unnatural for a camera operator to handle the camera like this. So having a proper handle so that the quarter screws on the top, it goes a long way and it makes it easier to handle. So grabbing something like that back here, it works way, way better. I will, I will go over the pros and cons of this camera in my review and I'll answer my long awaited question. Is it good enough? To replace my Sony ZV-E10. Blackmagic Design has offered us a lot of I.O. Uh, we have an HDMI, a USB 3.1, a power plug, a Canon paddy slot, a microphone jack, which the worst one in the industry, and two 12G SDI, which is awesome. As long as you compare it with the right ATM switcher, which costs a lot of money. Now, if you plan on buying this kind of if you plan on buying this kind of camera, this camera record only in Black Magic RAW, which is outstanding codex for any beginner content creator. Uh, I fell in love with it for the first time when I first used it. Uh, I can change the ISO, I can color grade it as much as I, I want. It's an outstanding codec, so if you haven't actually used it yet, I highly suggest you actually try it. You can even get a free clip from Blackmagic Design themselves and you can actually play around with the clip. It works flawlessly, it's the same type of concept. But there's also a built-in LUT within the cameras itself already while it's recording in Blackmagic RAW. Now the menu system of Blackmagic Design cameras is by far the best within the industry and I heard no negative things when it comes to it. It only been positive. Unfortunately, buying a Blackmagic Design Macro 4K G2, it makes it kind of difficult. Okay, there's no screen attached to it. So you only have these buttons to work with. So it's very, very difficult to actually manage to go through the menus. And it's, it gets very hectic since there's no screen you have to bear up with the monitor. Unfortunately, when you connect it to a, an SD, uh, when you connect it to an ATEM switcher, you won't be able to see the menu at all. Not including the HDMI. You have to go through a settings and actually switch it so you can be able to see it. And that alone requires it for you to actually have a dedicated monitor. So it's flawless when you use the menu, but there's some drawback for the small side factor. Now we gotta talk about this mic. Unfortunately, when it comes to this mic, I'm very disappointed, so I'm really sorry, but I have to give my honest opinion about this. They could have done a lot better. I have a ZVE 10 and I'm actually recording with it. And that's how you guys hear in the audio. I'm gonna just show you guys real quick. This is my capturing device at the moment. So I can be able to actually have good audio. I'm really, really sorry, but this is something they're supposed to actually have it pre-built in. But for that small factor, it's an outstanding camera. Whenever you have a spectacular moment and you want it to be able to record it and that's all you have, you can make it work. You just gotta make sure you turn up the gains a lot more. 
I have mine turned up all the way to 25. It's still not the best. I need to actually bring it up even higher, maybe to 30. It considered to be very, very high, but I have to do something to the mic to make it work. But it's something, once you figure out how to make it work, you should be able to manage it. Those spectacular moments is very important. So if that's the only thing you have, you can actually make it work. You can even make it work without actually turning up the gain as much. But I find out it's a lot easier to just turn up the gains and just worry about it in post right after that. But if you care about sound, like I do, make sure you have a dedicated sound recorder. Unfortunately, I need to put an example to make sure that Blackmagic actually does something about this does something about this microphone that we have pre-built in because they can do something a lot better than what they have i'm sorry okay i'm really really sorry you guys could have done it better now can this black magic camera design replace my zve 10. my answer is yes this thing record in 12-bit raw i can never find anything that record 12-bit raw for that kind of price. Once you get over the hurdle, the microphone, the small factor, the extra accessories required to actually add on, the hanging USB on the side, which I'm looking at right now, is one hell of a camera and it can replace your ZV-E10. Usually when we actually, usually majority of content creators, they use a ZV-E10 like a normal camera. But for me, I use it in the studio. So the Blackmagic Design Macro 4K G2 is my go-to camera instead of the ZV-E10 because it's recording 12-bit raw. You guys seeing this? This is recorded by Blackmagic Macro Studio 4K2 and it's recorded in 12-bit raw file. And I won't lie to you, I'm not gonna color grade it. I'm just gonna get the file and just up export right away. It's a pre-building LUT within the camera already. I just gotta worry about the microphone. That's all I have to worry about. If you guys like this kind of contest, subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. I'll be happy to respond to, I'll be happy to respond to you. And subscribe already. There's more good things coming in soon. Take care everybody. Later.